Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I got the apple crown out again and I'm going to show you how to wire up a transmission temperature gauge to your Holly Pro Dash. Interesting. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the gauge, the display all configured. It's America and Freedom and Bald Eagles. But as you can see right here, we've got transmission temperature set up. It's reading 84 degrees. So we're gonna go over how to, how to configure all that stuff. All right, you're gonna go ahead and open up your instruction manual. My previous video, I went over this. Take that fucking thing out of the trash. Flip to page 13. And over on the side here, we're going to look up. It's got Holly temperature sensors, but we can also do a custom coolant temperature sensor. So we look down here, slide on over, and we're going to see that's input 4 on pin 28. We're going to change pages now and go to page 8, which shows out the pin layout, where it is on that connector. <clears throat> so here we have, down in the bottom, third from the left, input 4, pin 28. Alright, so we're going to go underneath the car, take a sip of some apple crown before we go. And right down there, we have our low dollar motorsports, zero to 300 degree sensor. It's got two wires. One is sensor ground, and the other one is to the input. In case we forgot, sensor ground is pin 26. Pin 26 is right there, lower left most pin. All right, so we know where that is. Now we're gonna go back inside the car. If you go back to one of my previous videos, it should be the first one loaded. <clears throat> and we're gonna, that talks all about setting up and plugging in stuff into the connector. I don't think we need to beat a dead horse. <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to the menu, that's the first thing. Here we are, we're going to go to customize, no, no we're not going to customize yet. We're back in the menu, we hit configuration, we're going to go down here, we have a dash configuration. All right. Side note, guys, <clears throat> dudes, ladies, whatever pronoun, right? It's 2020. We're not going to get concerned about pronouns. Do whatever makes you happy. No judgment. But we have here a USB. It plugs right into the back of your dash. That's cool. It plugs right into the back of the dash. Take the mouse from your laptop, hard top, desktop, whatever top, Apple top, if you, whatever. <clears throat> Take the mouse from there and plug it into that. It makes setting up this thing so much easier. Yes, it's touch screen, right? But some of us have fucking sausage fingers. So use that. It makes this a lot easier, but you can still do it. So first thing you're going to do once you're in here, you're going to click on it. The input name, and that's what you're going to give it. Trans temp, coolant temp, whatever, whatever. All right. Once you're done, you're going to hit OK. <clears throat> All's well. 
Next thing we're going to do, we click on that drop down. We want to look at a custom CTS or a custom coolant temperature sensor since that's what that is. Once you select it, it's going to pop up this little gear to give you some more options. <clears throat> All right, we click on the little gear and it's going to bring up this screen. You may have seen it before when I did my uh my how to configure a fuel level sensor. All right. But you're going to go to the sheet that you get from Low Dollar Motorsports. These guys are awesome. I can't say enough good things about them. <clears throat> they give you a printout. It's a screenshot of the Holly software. Right? This is from like the Terminator X or your Pro your uh your Dominator software, Holly V5, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But you just take this information and you put it in there. Make your x-axis, your y-axis, what this is telling you, right? Look at that. Magic. <clears throat> Low dollar, you guys are awesome. I'm not sponsored by Low Dollar, but if you guys want to talk, I'll, I'll shoot me in a DM. All right, so once you get this all configured, right? x-axis, y-axis for your ohms and your temperature. You're going to save it. But since mine's already configured, we're just going to hit cancel. <clears throat> that sets up your IO4. You don't need to do anything else with your sensor ground wire. You just All right, so you plug into the back of the dash. You go underneath the car. You put in your, you, you drill, tap, whatever you got to do. For your sensor and you just crimp those connectors <clears throat> all right once you've got this configured for your input that's done so we're going to close out of here now we're going to go to customize we're going to make some changes you have warning you're about to jack your shit up hit okay so we'll click anywhere on here right Add, add, gauge. <clears throat> all right. Now, we want to go all the way to the bottom. If you didn't label it, it's going to be in here as IO4 or IO8 or whatever input you're using. But we labeled ours in the previous screen. We labeled a trans temp, so we're going to hit OK. <clears throat> now, if you want, I have digital, right? So that's what's there. I would select on digital if you want analog or if you want a bar graph or, or whatever the case is, that's what you click. So we would click on digital. All right, once we have that in here, that's what it's going to look like. We can move it if we need to, or we can go to customize. No, we do not want to delete that gauge. We want to come in here, and we want to customize. All right, see, that's one of the things I was talking about with the, using the mouse. I didn't bring my mouse out because I'm a dumbass today. <clears throat> it's touchscreen. Someone's got fucking sausage fingers. All right, so we can label the gauge. We've got it labeled trans temp. Put, all right, so select units. All right, we're going to have degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I, I suppose you could put that as Celsius if you live in a country that's never landed on the moon. But we've been on the moon, and we have bald eagles and freedom. So we're using F. F stands for freedom. Scroll down, and then the range. That's not the range of the sensor. That's the range of what will display on the dash. Now, this is transmission temp, transmission fluid we're measuring. If my trans temp is over 350 degrees, we got some problems. And to be honest, if it's below 40, I'm not going the fuck outside. So that's all I really care to see. All right, so warnings. We kind of want some warnings on here, <clears throat> right? Because hot ATF is bad ATF. 
So we select 220 as our high warning, right? That's a, hey, dumbass, pull over. You're about to fuck your shit up. And then we have 240, which is, hey, dumbass, you're about to have a whole bunch of neutrals. But we do want to change this. I don't want to see steady warning color. Otherwise, it'll look like my wide band right now because the engine's not running. So if it, we want to do a flash, <clears throat> right? It's kind of like them blue lights follow you around sometimes. That's what we want to do, except we're, we want to see yellow and red. So we're going to go down here, flash slow, flash click. We'll go, I'll, I'll pick flash slow this time. And then hit OK. All right, if we're all good here, we're going to scroll down, change foreground color. I have it to me. Background color, me. Doesn't really matter because I have the transparency set to zero or 100% transparent. All the way see through because I want to see my stars and my stripes. <clears throat> but if you don't want to see that, you can set it from all the way transparent. Come on, you, you fuck. Believe me when I say it, 255 is the top. So we don't want that. We want all of the bald eagles. We want all the freedom to show through. All right, size. I chose 115 because it happens to make four tall fit real good like. <clears throat> you want it bigger? Use a bigger number. It's a number of pixels, right? Like the size, the, the amount of pixels in the phone you watch porn on. More is better or more is bigger. <clears throat> if you want it smaller, use a smaller number like 50 or 70, something like that. All right, the rest of this updates per second. All right. It is what it is. I don't, I don't really mess with that too much. All right, once we're done, go ahead and hit OK. Click on it on the background. Click on Save. And you're up here. You're cooking with gas. <clears throat> All right. If you guys got questions, hit, hit me up in the comments. Shoot me a DM on Facebook. I don't have an Instagram because I'm not a fucking child. All right. But that, that's about all there is to configuring a temperature sensor. In my case, transmission temp, Steve, expendable, whatever you're calling yourself. You can use the same deal for setting up a coolant sensor for your engine coolant. All right, if we're all good here, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you want. If you don't, I don't care. I'm not trying to monetize this. This is just a way for me to easily put out knowledge if anybody has any questions or whatever, right? It's way better than writing a damn paragraph on a Facebook question or post or whatever the hell you want to call it. That most of you aren't going to read anyways because you have ADD. <clears throat> Alright, if there's anything you do want to see set up, again, shoot me a message, leave a comment on the video, whatever, and I'll do what I can. Alright, thanks. Bye. And wash your damn hands.